Zombies in Alabama? Yep. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, I've got too well today. I'm doing a double feature today. And one of these is more or less a new movie. The uh, four of few zombies more. But uh, both these movies are actually... Uh, okay, I don't, it's funny they have a name for um, a trilogy, but... Nothing really for just a two movie series. Maybe one day they'll make a third of these. And uh, it will be a trilogy. But right now I doubt they will. Because the first one, The Hide and Creep, well, it came out in 2005. And it's set in a little Alabama town <laughs> uh, named Thornsby. And of course, you know, even though the Walking Dead comic have been out a short time this movie you know really predates most of the zombie craze that uh you know took back off after Shaun of the dead and um the remake of dawn of the dead but it's still it's still in that time frame and for a cheap little movie um and it's it's it was made by oh well the name of the company is crewless productions but it was uh, distributed by the Asylum, which if you don't know about Asylum, they, uh, before they started doing the Sharknado movies and Z Nation uh, on sci-fi, they did rip-offs of any and everything, like uh, Snakes on a Plane, they did Snakes on a Train, you know, stuff like that. But this was a fairly original uh, movie. I think they just got the rights to distribute it. And it's just about the small Alabama town and your main protagonist is a uh, guy that owns a video store. And, you know, zombie shit starts happening. He's the first to see, you know, and he tries to save the town. But uh, it's it's about what you would think a small southern town how they would react to uh, zombie <laughs> apocalypse conditions. And it's got a lot of the tropes you would think, you know, religious and rednecks. And, and all in all, I enjoy it. It's a fun little movie. Um, it's worth tracking down if you can find it for $10 or so. I never in the world thought, though, that they would make a sequel. <laughs> Anyways, the sequel, which came out around 10 years later, uh, called For a Few Zombies More, uh, follows up with most of the characters from the original that survived. Uh, the video store guy is living in a secluded bunker, and he only goes out to find food and VHS tapes <laughs> and DVDs. You know, anything he can watch. Um, it's very reminisces sort of the pandemic because you know there's still lots of people but there's limited resources on certain things and people are just acting crazy it's okay I mean I mean if you like big budget movies or you know like Hollywood style you're probably not going to enjoy it. But if you just like a cheap little waste of an hour and a half, you can get a good bit of enjoyment out of it. It does help a lot, though, if you've watched the first, because there are so many connecting characters. I do believe it is on Prime, or it was at one time. Uh, that rhymed. <laughs> uh, and I don't know if Hide and Creep is, but if you can find both of them, Watch Hide and Creep first, and then enjoy for a few zombies more. Um, I wish maybe these people would actually put out a, a two-disc set or something so people could just catch them up, but I don't know if that ever happened. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this sort of review. Uh, we'll see you all next week for something old, or maybe. I don't know, I need to quit doing that and just do whatever I can think of doing that week, but I like to try to be consistent, so probably be something new next week but I don't I'm not sure 
anyways we'll see y'all tomorrow maybe for some if i get enough words for that but anyways we'll see y'all